it's Void Hunt Geo3 here. Today I wanted to talk about Gun Game. Now Gun Game is very near and dear to my heart. I know I had a video on weapon bonding and how important it is to bond with a specific weapon, but it's also equally important to be able to use any weapon you can find and be good with it. And for that reason, Gun Game is perfect for assessing where you need to improve and how. Now as you can see, I had a nice little run at this beginning. I was completely in my state of gaming zen at the start of this game. It definitely reflects. Uh, but the whole point of Gun Game is that you, are, you don't really know what gun you're going to get next. And so once you get that kill and you turn to your next enemy or whatever, or you check your weapon, it's in that moment that it's going to be up to you to know how to use that weapon, what situation you want to try to get into, and uh, also how likely your enemy is to have a weapon that's better or worse than yours. Because the reality is that everyone is going to be trying to play to their weapon's advantage and uh, as the game progresses, whatever weapon they're using, you know, how they're trying to get that advantage is going to change rapidly. Like some people are going to still be on the stinger, someone's going to be already on the knife, and you know, there might be some poor fellow that's still on the first pistol. You never really know what you're going to get. And because of that, the game's nice and unpredictable and it's really fun. But what is predictable is that you're going to be getting a different weapon, most likely a completely different weapon, every single time, and you have to account for that. In multiplayer and even Warzone, you're going to have some agency over what weapon you're rocking in your hand. You know, in multiplayer, obviously, you have your loadout, you have exactly what you want when you want it. Uh, in Warzone, while you know you might get a few bad weapons at first, you're still able to, as you play and progress through the match, to not only get your loadout eventually, but also find a more preferable weapon just on the ground. So, let's say you're just terrible with pistols. Well, in Warzone, you just make sure you don't pick up any pistols and you're good to go. In Gun Game, you don't have that privilege. If the game gives you the worst pistol you've ever used and you don't know how to use it, you're kind of screwed. You, you kind of it forces you to improvise and use that weapon you're uncomfortable with. And not only does it do that, it does that in a high pressure situation where it's just a free for all and you're trying to win. This makes gun game really good for gauging your skills with different weapons. Now I talked about being in a heightened state of gaming zen at the start of this match, and it is here that this uh, state of gaming zen began to wane. I was completely taken out of it by being knifed right there. I didn't see it coming. I was like pretty much chalking up the win to the bank, you know, getting ready to hit the record button. And uh, that happened. And not only did that happen, but what just happened there happened. So now I was all the way back to this piece of shit. And my gaming zen was completely compromised. Now, if I had lost that firefight there, which by all rights, if he was just a little bit better of a shot, I would have, then my state of gaming zen would have been utterly broken. I do not know if I would have been able to pull out this game under those circumstances. And that's definitely why you want to have practice to fall back on, because you can't always depend on your state of gaming zen to be in full swing. You have to anticipate that there will be some roadblocks occasionally here and there, and you have to be ready for them. Uh, the whole point of once, it's not its not over once you're out of your state of being zen. You just want to find it again. You want to be back in your proper state of mind, but at the same time, you don't want to use being in a state of gaming zen as a crutch. While it's true that you'll be able to enter a state of gaming zen multiple times a match with proper experience and practice, uh, when you are not in your state of gaming zen, you cannot allow your performance to be so hampered that basically while you're in zen, you do really well, and then the moment you're out, you do really bad, and you oscillate like that. You do not want that for your own performance. Uh, but I fortunately, squeaked out the match with a nice knife there and wrapped it all up. 
So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, happy 420, everyone.